So what I want you to do is to get out of your chair and pick a place somewhere here in this room where you can stand and where if you would do this, you are not going to hit anything or anybody. Okay? So just here or there or whatever. <laughs> Isaac, maybe here. So what I ask you to do is this. And first I'm going to demonstrate. You stretch your right arm with your index finger. And then I ask you to make a turn, turn right. To make a turn and then as far as you can, all right? There are two things very important in this. Number one is that from now on, you have to Keep your feet exactly where they are now. Like they're glued with super glue, like they're put in concrete and you can't move anymore. So not forward, backwards, or twist, turn, whatever. No, they're just like this now, okay? That's one very important thing. The second thing is, if you make this turn, you have to promise me and yourself that you turn as far as you can, right? Now, if you would do that, of course, if you follow your arm and your index finger and you turn and turn and turn, you point something, right? If you're at that point where you cannot go any further and you point something, just look what you're pointing at and make a picture of it in your mind. So not only the point you're pointing at, but the surroundings of it. Make a frame around it and make a picture in your mind. Store it up here, okay? Clear? Okay, good. So listen to my instructions. Okay, you can stretch your right arm now with your index finger. Keep your feet where they are now, okay? Until I tell you not to do any more. But so far, so good. So stretch your right arm with your index finger and make this turn now as far as you can. Go ahead. As far as you can. Look at your index finger and see what you're pointing at. Make a picture of that in your mind, store it in your head, and then you can turn back. Okay, you can turn back. Did you make it? Isaac, you have a picture of it? Okay, don't move your feet. Don't move, I keep them there, okay? Okay, good. What I ask you to do now is just close your eyes. Keep your feet where they still are. Just close your eyes and listen to what I'm telling you. What I want you to do now is only in your mind, so you can relax your arms and leave them just where they are now. Only in your mind, you're going to stretch this right arm again. And then, and then you're going to make this turn in your mind. So you're thinking of how it would be to turn again. And then you point again at this same point you pointed at the first time. What I ask you to do now is to go a little bit further than the first point, just one or two inches. Then you're pointing at something else, right? Once you have that, you can turn back again. And when you turn back, you can open your eyes. So that's easy, right? All you have to do is stand and listen. You don't have to do anything. Is everybody back again? We're going to do that one more time. So I ask you to close your eyes again and concentrate on what we're doing, okay? So close your eyes and in your mind, you're going to make this turn again with that stretched arm. You turn, you turn, there's point A. And then you can even point at point B. That's the one you just was thinking about. And what I want you to do now is to add Again, one or two inches, and we call that point C. Okay? So if you've done that, you can turn back again. And when you are turned back, you can open your eyes. I'm waiting for everybody to open his eyes. Okay, good. All right, was everybody able to do that? 
Yes? Good. So what I ask you now is stretch your right arm with that index finger. Go on, go on, stretch it. Yes, good. That's your left arm. Did you, do, did you use your left arm the first time? Just, just take the same arm you used the first time. Okay, good. So what I ask you to do now is make this turn. Make the turn right as far as you can. Keep your feet where they are as far as you can. Look at your index finger and look what you're pointing at. If you've done that, you can turn back. We could do this, everybody? Okay, let's have a seat. Just. So who can tell me um, about this exercise? What did you experience? What, tell me about it. Nelly, what did you experience? What happened when you turned the second time? I was able to extend further because my point A, I saw the window. Point B, I saw the plant. And point C, the corner of the door. Okay. Yeah. That's quite some extension. Mm -hmm. So you could do more than you did the first time. Yeah. Interesting. Anybody else? Um, Ramadan, what did you experience? At first, I was not able to go further. As in my point of view was somewhere here. Mm -hmm. But uh, when I closed my eye, I was able to see this, that body. Wow. <laughs> so if you imagine, that you're making a turn. <laughs> yes. So you can even turn. You can make a very, so you can make so many turns. You made it a 360 yes. and another one and another one. <laughs> yeah. But when you turned the second time, was, was there any difference with the first time? Yeah. Tell me about the difference it. Difference was I was able not to pull the camera. Okay. Okay. So is there anybody who didn't point further the second time than the first time? Everybody went further? That's interesting. So, how come? How come? Can anybody explain that to me? Why is it that if we say, keep your feet where they are, make a turn as far as you can. I told you, promise yourself and promise me that you're going to turn as far as you can. So you did. I assume you did. And then only by thinking about it, how it would be to turn further, bless you, Paul, to turn further than you did the first time, only thinking about it twice, people turn out to be, I don't know, capable of turning more than what they did the first time. We did not do any training schedules or workout or stretching programs or, I don't know, all kind of Olympic stuff, nothing at all. But how come that we obviously limit ourselves? Why is that? Pauline. For me, I think uh, when we are doing something the first time and it is new to us, or rather we do not know what comes next, then we sort of suffer some insecurity and yes. we limit we limit up to where we feel uncomfortable up to that point. Okay. But now, when you take time, because that was the first time, the second time we were doing it in the mind, but we were already comfortable, we were like, okay. Then, there was, we, were, we were also given the privilege to extend further mm -hmm. our mind. Mm -hmm. So even when it came to do it physically again now, we were a bit more secure because, so, okay, there's not much to it, there's not that threat that I do not know. What is to happen next time? We okay. So we, we were able to remove the limits, the, the boundaries we had created. Exactly, yeah. yes. Yeah. yes. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Damaris, you were raising your hand. Yeah, for me, when I, I turned at first time, yes. I pointed out this leaf where there's in between two openings. And what came to my mind it was like, I saw like a roof, a mother roof. And there are two openings. Whereby, at what came to my mind was that, in case of anything, I can escape from through Hela. Yes. But when we closed our eyes and we were to look again, I saw myself realizing what is behind that, and I saw having opportunities coming up. 
Okay. But when we turned, now when we had opened her eyes again and pointing, I was able now to see by the eyes what her mind was trying to let me know there are other new opportunities ahead. Okay. Yeah. So what you actually say, if I can translate that into uh, um, an explanation of this, would be that if you visualize how it would be if you do more, if you set the goals further, if you put away the limitations you have, then you're really able to do that. Amazing. Anybody else? Yes. I believe in taking the first step. You believe in taking the first step? The first step. Yes. For example, when I went to this farm, mm -hmm. it was my first exercise. But I always believe in falling ahead. So I extended my arm further so that I, I can aim higher than that. Yes, okay. You can do more than what you think you can. It's wonderful, this. I think this is wonderful. I mean, it's so easy. This is a very easy, simple exercise you can do in a few minutes, right? But it shows us that we limit ourselves. And I don't know why. Why should we? Why should we do this? I mean, it's no use in it. Because if you can do more, why don't you do more? It's all in your mind, right? It's all about visualizing. Okay, you can use this. Of course, in your groups, you are going to train. Because you can visualize all kinds of things, and we're going to come back on that later on. Besides that, this exercise is a great anchor you put down for everyone who did this training. Because if you um, are in a training or working with a group of people, and you have done this exercise before, everybody knows from now in this group what I mean when I do this. So if there is a moment in this training or in the training you are going to do with your young people and somebody saying, this is not possible, I cannot do this, this is too difficult for me or whatever, you just have to do this. And you tell, can you remember this one? They will say, okay, yeah, okay, I'm limiting myself probably. Maybe I can do more than I think I can. I should try at least. Okay? Do you have any questions about this? Did you like it? Yes? Okay. Any questions? Okay, done. Good.